Welcome back to Kremen. Today I'm going to be showing you how to touch off a tool on the B-arm of an L32 Type 12 for milling with G950 or G910. But G910 sucks, and I'll tell you why. First thing we're going to do, jog the gang up, bring it over so we can get to that B-axis arm, take the old tools out, put the new tools in. Get your wrenches, get your collet wrench, get your spindle wrench. Take the old tools out, put the new tools in. You should know this by now. All right. We're gonna take our old tool and collet out, set them aside so we can wipe them down later and put them away. The same people that don't clean their collets out are the same people that leave their shopping carts in the parking lot. We all hate them. We're gonna blow out the spindle, clean, clean, clean. This is tool 13, I'm gonna be putting it in. If you don't know, we got tool 11, tool 12, tool 13, tool 14. So when I say tool 13, I'm talking about this spindle. We'll blow it out, get all the big pieces out, take our rag, and just do the best job you can. I realize some of us have fat fingers and you can't really get into those little spindle bores, but just do the best job you can. So we're cleaned out. We're gonna grab our new clean, because we cleaned it before we put it away. We're gonna grab our clean collet, collet nut, and tool. Here we have our ER16 collet, spindle nut, and a demo tool. This is just a dovetail cutter for the demo. Get it on there, put our tool in, eyeball to stick out. Stick out about how much you think you need. When you run it through high speed check, the machine will tell you if you don't have enough, but you don't want to have it hanging out more than you need to, just like any other tool. Put it in, that looks good. I'm gonna tighten it all the way down. When you're tightening your collets, you saw what I did, I had both wrenches in one hand. Do not have wrenches in other hands because inevitably one of them's gonna slip and you're gonna stick boring bars in your knuckles. I've done it, I have the scars. I have end mill pieces in my other finger. Wrench slips, that drill goes right in your hand, that boring bar goes right in your knuckle and they don't heal well with all the oil. So our tool is tightened down. We're ready to touch it off. It's nothing fancy. I'm gonna grab a piece of paper. I'm gonna jog my bar stock out a little bit and we're gonna touch off the OD of the bar. We're gonna come over here to our console. We're gonna go into manual, Z1. Dog the bar out. How far, doesn't matter. You just want the bar to be out far enough that the tool has something to touch off on. So now we're gonna go into prep. We're gonna tab down to our arm tools. And it shows you, the little arrow shows you. So we're gonna go to tool 13, diameter. We're gonna turn our feed down to zero. Man set, cycle start. And we're just gonna use the feed override and we're just gonna bring it in really nice and easy. Make sure we don't have any collisions, broken tools, uh, stray cats, anything like that. All right. So now she's there. Obviously the tool is nowhere near the bar. We're gonna jog it in with the hand wheel. So you got your feet overrides, one tenth per click, one thou per click. We're gonna go with a thou. To move it in, we're gonna go in the minus direction on the hand wheel. And we're just gonna jog it in and touch it off with a piece of paper. We're just gonna keep going, keep going until we feel the paper drag. Feeling the paper drag. All right, there we go. So the paper is just dragging. I go two more thousandths right there. So here, you can see how far we jogged it in the diameter. What we're gonna do now is push input. It's gonna take this number and apply it to this diameter setting. We push input. This is gonna go to negative 500 something, negative 513 and we're done. 
This is exactly like touching off tool seven, tool eight, tool nine. It is exactly the same. You don't change anything. You just call tool 13, diameter, man set, cycle start, and just touch it off with paper, just like a regular tool. And that's what's beautiful about G950, because the machine will take that number and will apply it to your coordinate rotation for you. It will do all the math for you. And so you don't have to do anything special. You don't have to do anything fancy. You just touch your tools off the OD of the bar and run it. And it just works just like a mill. It rotates your coordinate plane. It compensates for how far your tool is sticking out. You can have all your tools sticking out different amounts. And as long as they're all touched off correctly, it will work correctly. You won't have any major issues. We use G910 in like two programs because it's a pain in the ass and we're moving away from it because it's a pain in the ass. The only time we use G910 is when we have the B arm at zero degrees and we're milling on the end of the bar. So if you're going to touch off with G910, if you are dead set on using it, the best thing I can say, the best recommendation I can give is to have all your diameters on your prep page set to zero. Let's go through the process. Say we're gonna be just doing end milling with G910. We don't care, we just program two lines by hand. I'll back everything out, reset, and I'll show you how I would touch off if I was gonna program with G910. We're gonna jog the gang up and over again. We're gonna leave the tool loose in the collet so we can slide the tool in and out. Still in, uh, still in tool mode. I'll just call tool one here to reset that real quick. Sometimes when you touch off the tools on the arm, the axes stay the way they would be for the tools on the arm. So I tried to jog X and you saw us jogging the bar in and out. That's the X axis for the tools on the arm when you're using G950. So we just call tool one, tool five, just call a turn tool and it'll clear out and it'll reset your axis to what you're used to. So now we're gonna jog X axis up and over so we can get to that tool. We got our wrenches again. We're gonna go in and loosen the tool. Again, both wrenches in one hand. And just loosen that nut off. Now she's loose. I can slide that tool in and out. I'm just gonna leave it stuck in. We're gonna end up pulling it back out, but I'll just leave it stubbed in for now. So we're gonna go back to our prep, tab down, tool 13, and we are gonna set this diameter to zero. This is the best way I've found to eliminate a lot of the issues you'll run into when you're programming with G910. We are gonna go man set, plus 513, input, back to zero. Feed to zero, cycle start, and we're gonna touch off this tool. There you go. So if you notice how much farther out that tool wants to stick, this distance is the rotation center point of the B-arm with your prep page set to zero. It is 15 millimeters from machine zero. Same as your, uh, same as your cross working tools, it's 15 millimeters from machine zero. So, and what we're gonna do, we're not gonna use paper this time. We're just gonna keep pu pulling the tool out against the bar as best as we can while we tighten the collet nut down. And that feels pretty good because the collet nut's gonna suck the tool back as you tighten it down. So you just wanna keep the tool pulled out to the bar while you tighten it down. And once you get it finger tight, you can snug it up with the wrenches and it'll pull it back a few thousands, but it should be pretty close to zero. Tighten it down, both wrenches in one hand. Let's give it a good squeeze, it's nice and tight. And that's it. So there you go. There's how you touch off tools for G950 and G910. Hopefully I was able to convey a few of the reasons why I prefer G950. There's other ones that go into the programming, but that's a topic for a future video. So if that was useful, if you liked that, if it was helpful, like the video, subscribe, share it, share it with your coworkers, share it with your kids, share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time. Um, their grandpa Joe, 
you might like to see that. Uh, cousin Vinny, their cousin's dog, the ground squirrel that keeps eating their tomatoes. Uh, let's see, the birds on the porch. I mean, the government's already tracking us, but the birds like to know about it too. They don't get cut in very often. Um, the thing that lives in the walls, the thing that makes noises when the house settles, but it's not the house, hold the phone up to the wall. Maybe he wants to know about it. Maybe he's trying to listen in. Uh, the carpet cleaning guy, he's always down for that. The trash man, you know, you're out there taking the trash out. Just be rolling the video while you're taking the trash out. He wants to see that.